President Ransdell calls Mary Ellen Miller a WKU treasure. The longtime professor of English has made her mark at WKU in a variety of ways and now plans to transition to part-time status. I knew I was going to love the job. And I did. It's been nearly 54 years since Mary Ellen Miller taught her first class at WKU. I think my first impression was, was how mannerly they were and respectful. A welcome change after teaching at the high school level. Miller says she never thought she would one day become the longest serving member of WKU's faculty. I didn't imagine back then I'd be alive at this time. Miller and her husband, renowned poet and educator Jim Wayne Miller, both joined the faculty at WKU in 1963. We talked about our future after we'd done 25 years, which was standard, still is standard. But then he up and died on me, so I had to switch my plan. I think if I just stayed at home and, and grieved there that I, I might have just died. Miller served two terms as a faculty regent, one in the 1980s and one in the 1990s. I made friends with the board members. It made it easier for me to bring up subjects that sometimes were kind of tricky. She also learned early on to never spring anything on the president. I knew that lesson and so I always went to him first and got the lay of the land. Miller also played a big role in founding the Center for Robert Penn Warren Studies at WKU after her committee contacted Guthrie City officials about purchasing his childhood home. We ended up being friends with them and because they would say we would never have done this if you hadn't called our attention to it. Miller admits she's no fan of technology but does like to email and stays in daily contact with former students. Got a poem accepted, you know, I finished my book. I've decided to go to graduate school. Uh, that's, that's the favorite part of my day, I think. Miller will only be teaching two courses when the semester begins later this month. She's also passed along her duty of carrying the mace at commencement to the next longest serving faculty member, Walker Rutledge. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.